Past performance is not indicative of future results. We see this statement all the time in financial services, commercials, and prospectus with the idea that we can't base our future performance on what's happened in the past. The entire field of AI thinks that's false. And we're going to look at past performance to help us predict what's going to happen in the future. Hi, my name is George Casey, and I'm here at the RSM Technology Experience Center in Denver to talk today about the Microsoft Power Platform, and specifically AI Builder. Now, AI Builder is a new component that abstracts the data science from AI and puts it in the hands of business users in a way where they can deliver a no-code approach to create AI applications. Specifically, they can create binary classification models, form processing, object detection, or text classification. And today, we're going to go through a demo using binary classification to create a prediction probability of whether or not a buyer will buy on an online website based on their behavioral and demographic data. So now we're in the AI Builder, and we're looking at the models. And we'll drill into the model to see how this is configured to set up a binary classification prediction. So the nice thing about AI Builder is it really is designed for a power user, a business user, as opposed to a data scientist or developer, and gives us a wizard by which we can walk through the steps to organize our data and prediction train our model, and create something we can deploy very quickly. So in this case, the first, first thing we need to identify is what is it we're trying to predict. And in this case, we're looking at the historical outcomes of online shopper intention, and we're looking at the revenue field to basically identify, did they buy something or didn't they buy something? So we're, ma we're mapping yes to yes, no to no, and we're going to set our prediction uh, when no value is selected. We're going to ask the model to predict what the outcome is. When we step to the next step in the model, now we have the opportunity to identify which features or attributes are going to be instructive to the model in making that prediction. So we can look at the data we have that's going to help us understand what uh, is uh, important when it relates to the buyer's demographics and behavior on whether or not they're going to make a purchase and identify which uh, variables to include in our model. In this case, we've selected 19 fields. We'll click Next. And now we have the summary of the model. Very simple. We're going to predict revenue, yes or no, based on the model, the fields we provided. And then we're going to train the model. And by training the model, we're just simply looking at historical data, looking at what the 19 fields we selected were, and whether or not the buyer actually bought uh, an item. Now the model will train and provide us with a prediction score to give us a sense of the quality of our model and if it's worth uh, moving into production. Finally, on the details page, here we can get a sense of which fields were most influential in creating the score, as well as the performance on our model. In this case, we see 89% accuracy, which is fairly accurate and can be useful for us in terms of making a decision. Now, when it comes to the actual output of the data, here we see in Dynamics 365 CE in our uh, model-driven app, we have a history of customers what their, their training set of data is, which was did they buy, no, or yes. And then on the items where we don't have that value, we have a probability. In this case, this, this customer is 54% likely to buy, whereas this other customer has a very, very low likelihood of purchasing. So this model predicted yes. Uh, in this customer case, it predicted no. Another important benefit of this model is it's what we'd call a reinforcement learning model, where each day as more transactions come through, where the model has a chance to train yes or no, did the buyer purchase based on the data that was provided in our model, and the, the model will get smarter. Every day it's going to have more of a data training set to say, this is what we're seeing as far as how people re react when they come in with this behavior and these demographics. Now that this data is available to us, we can take advantage of the rest of the Power Platform and perhaps kick off a flow that's going to identify buyers with probability between 50 and 70 percent as needing perhaps a little nudge in the right direction feed that to Dynamics 365 Marketing and send them a discount or a promotion code to help push them over the edge. This is just a quick example of how this data can be used with real-time AI at the hands of a no-code kind of business user uh, using Power Platform and AI Builder.